Welcome back to Houston Life. Y'all know that I always say there is a Houston connection there to is. every story. Yeah. Truly. Well, it turns out one of the most popular drag entertainers to come out of season 13 of the popular competition series, RuPaul's Drag Race, has ties to our area. It is so true. Ross McCorkle, better known as Rose, grew up in Sugarland and is returning home for a very special event called RuPaul's Drag Race Night of the Living Drag. And guess what? He joins us right now. Ross, welcome to Houston Life. <laughs> Hi, thank and congrats you. on yeah. all your success. Thank you so much. That's lovely. Thank Listen, you. drag takes a ton of work. I've done it a couple times on the show. It's oh, you have? So fun. I have. Okay. Yeah. The glue sticks and the eyebrows, all of that. When did you realize you had this skill and this talent? Because it truly is a talent. Yesterday. Oh, uh, yeah. oh wow. <laughs> no, no. I've been doing drag for about five years. And uh, yeah, I, you know, I was an actor and a singer. And I just thought there was something missing. And and it turns out it was a bunch of makeup and a couple of wigs. <laughs> well, I think oh. there's more than a couple of wigs there. I mean, your costumes, rosé. I, I mean, this. look at this. It is off, <laughs> <laughs> off the charts. Needs a dental program. Yes. Um, tell me, before we talk about your connection to Houston, what was this experience like for you to be on RuPaul's show well, and that stage? It was, it was absolutely, I think, thus far the defining moment of my life. It was so life-changing and uh, in, in the best way possible. I mean, it, RuPaul's Drag Race has been the, the jumping off point for all of my dreams to become a reality. So, it's you know, awesome, it's, it's your Broadway. It, well, no, Broadway's by Broadway. Right. And I hope we'll Let's get there, too. Be, yeah. But RuPaul's Drag Race first. I mean, so. it just seems like that is just the, the platform where, like, you, you were waiting to get there, uh -huh. and here you are. For a drag artist. Yeah, it's, it's really an amazing, you know, diving board into the, the pool of the entertainment industry when you... When you wear wigs and heels. <laughs> Major talent, though. You grew up uh, in Scotland, right? You were born in Scotland, but then landed here in Sugarland. You spent most of your childhood here in Sugarland? It was about half and half. So I grew up half in Scotland and then half in Sugarland. I moved here when I was nine, and I left after I graduated high school. So yeah, um, it's so nice. I come back often, but I've never done like a really big show in drag as Rosé here yet until now. So I'm so excited for this It's week. your homecoming. So yeah. all of your classmates and your former neighbors, what is that like for you to have this full circle moment where you get to bring your talent back to Sugarland? Well, it's amazing because, you know, I always say that um, as I continue to grow and, and evolve, you know, I take pieces of, of, of my life along with me and so much of who I am is because of my time spent in, in Houston. So it's really nice to give that back and show everybody what I've done since I left. You know, it's, can you take us through the process of how Rosé came about? How, how did... How did the persona well, rosé? And even seeing this video too, it's like, yeah. how do you make this happen? I, don't, I can't even believe it's you. <laughs> Magic. It's crazy. Magic. Um, well, I, I don't know. I, um, I just, I, I, I love to do a lot of different things as an artist. I'm good at quite a lot of things, and drag is the only medium through which I can unite all of those talents and interests at the same time. You know, I can be a makeup artist. I can be a singer. I can be a dancer. I can style myself and pretend like I'm a model. I can, you know create big dance numbers. There's, I can do everything. It's really cool. Do you do all your own makeup and your looks, or do you have professional help doing it? I this? do my own makeup. Um, about everything else at this point now, I outsource um, with designers. But yeah, but if you if you trace back far enough the photos, you'll see there was a time when I made my own things, and we don't right. talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> it's called evolution, yeah. right? Yeah. I mean, and how long does the process take? Take a, you To know? get into drag? Um, I mean, you know, about an hour and a half. Yeah. OK. Yeah. Not too long, but, right. but but long enough to you know set some time aside before performing. It's a long that. time. It's a. <laughs> okay, let's talk about uh, the show here in Sugarland. This is one of eight city stops on the tour. Is that right? Yes. And then what happens at the show? Because you're not alone doing this. You have some other queens joining you. Right. We have a, a, a slew of, um, of of fan favorites from RuPaul's Drag Race, uh, and basically we the theme of the show. It's the Night of the Living Drag, and we are representing the uh, seven deadly sins. Um, and a couple of sins adjacent because we wanted to, you know, have some extra girls. I am a sin adjacent, and I'm representing vanity. And uh, mm -hmm. and so, yeah, we're just we we're doing a bunch of uh, you know performances with dancers, uh, you know, 
centered around these these themes. So it's a great, it's be great really show. We're looking at all the ticket information there. It's happening on Thursday. Of course, Smart Financial Center. It's a great venue. It's intimate. It's going to be a fantastic place to see this. Doors open at seven. Show starts at eight. Don't be late. Tickets fifty bucks. <laughs> um, Ross, when you're here, I mean, I know that you say you you like you like to get home often. Yeah. What do you do when you come back home? Is it like can I be honest? Can I be honest? Yes. Yeah. I go to Solis Casa de Tacos for <gasps> breakfast if it's open please and then I just sit at home with my family because I love, I that. love my family so and That's it's your so downtime nice. yeah it's downtime yeah but it's nice to be here this week and like have a job you know right be my, like, my parents my parents aren't used to me they're like you know I'm like oh sorry I won't be there for dinner because I've got a job so <laughs> Yeah. I've got to show. Let you go. Let's talk a little bit more about your family because the fact that you are so close to them and when you come home you just want to sit at home and stare at them. Yeah. That's super cool and rare. How, what does this mean to them watching all your success? Oh, I think it means the world. Um, but I wouldn't be able to. I, there's no way I could be who I am and have done what I, you know, do without their help and constant support always. You know, as a child. Um, and even now, so yeah, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm very lucky for my family. Um, so well, next time bring them to you the guys show. Are watching. I know. I will. I, yeah, I will. Well, they'll, they'll be there on th on Thursday. So as will we. Well, so we'll have to see say we're hi. Come see ya. Can't wait to see Ross McCorkle. Congrats on all your success. Thank we can't you. wait to see you on stage. Thank you so much. And Come thanks for making anytime. time for us. Of course. And in the meantime, a reminder to our viewers for tickets and more information, you can visit our website, HoustonLife.tv. Look for that scene on Houston Life section.